not exhausted. I'm not exhausted. I'm not exhausted. It's going to go away if I keep saying it. No, mind over matter. Okay. Um, you just kind of want to go through the same questions that you asked them? Yeah. All right, starting with, uh, how did you find out about Jeff Conn? Cope. You get it? Hey, man, listen. Cope. You, you, get, you get the photo? You get it? Oh, it's only 20 minutes, right? 35 minutes. Why do I live like this with you? Why do I have to always wait on you? Hey, so what's happening right now? I always wait on him. He said 20 minutes, it's been 35 minutes. I love how I spend the majority of my time working with you guys waiting on Cope. Always 20 minutes behind. I'm gonna change his name to like 20 minutes behind instead of go. Mm -hmm. I hope you caught that on camera for him. Play it back. I'm gonna make that his ringtone. 20 minutes behind. So, so when I show up on camera, can can I get like a cool intro or something? No, you get no intro with being late. Okay, can we'll, I? We'll film it after. I think DEF CON is one of those things that a lot of people come to DEF CON every year. I think it's like 25,000 people or something like that. Some ridiculous number. And it's not everybody that's a hacker. You know, a large majority are in hacking. And that hacking is such a huge term. If you think about DEF CON itself, there are a ton of villages. So I come back because it's the only time, it's the one time of the year when I know I'm going to be able to see the majority of the people that I talk to every day, people that I'm interacting with on Twitter, on Discord, Slack, uh, whatever, Instagram, whatever social media or messaging platform you're on, this is the one time I know more than likely 98% of those people are going to be here. Even this year with the pandemic, it's been different. You know, not everyone made it out, but a large number of people that I hadn't met yet, you know, I've been working with people like the Cyber Mentor, John Hammond, and I had never met these people for the past two years, uh, mostly because of the pandemic, but also if it wasn't for DEF CON, I wouldn't have gone and meet them. Some people come to Vegas and they don't even go to DEF CON. They just come because you know everybody's you know, here, all their friends are here. There's just a lot of stuff that happens that's just beyond DEF CON. And the networking that comes with DEF CON is very, very valuable, especially people that want to make connections and they want to stay in the industry for long term. The community is a very big part of it and this is the way to do it. So I wanted to come out here with everybody to put a video together, uh, not so much about the hacking culture, but I want to talk about the DEF CON culture. I wanted to show why people come here from across the world. We had people from the UK, I know people that are here from Sweden, uh, Germany, everybody comes from all across the world. They all fly in here Wednesday through Sunday, more than likely, or maybe a few days before and after. But I wanted to show everyone's perspective. There's just a lot of work that goes behind the scenes to make DEF CON happen. And I wanted to bring in that perspective and show why do different people come here? Why do they get involved? And why do they even care? I mean, it's really how you're supposed to prepare for a con is by doing everything we did last night. Am I wrong? Absolutely right. Okay, all right. So uh, today, again, because we're hydrated, we need no rest. We're going to get right into it. So what are we starting with today, Ben? Uh, no, every time we have, we have to go to Costco, we have to go to the hotel room and check in the CTF team. We have to pick up a swag and go to the Airbnb. Cool, so like 30 minutes worth of work today, guys, and we're in and out. Not sponsored. Not sponsored by in and out Did you do that? 
Dude. Oh, I see. So after that, I'm gonna come hang out with you guys and yeah, see you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to think because it's two people, right? Mm, possibly three. Yeah, it'll be, it'll In some cases, three. the only one time is three. Pick it up, won't we? Remember, quick yeah. jerking motion with your blower back. <laughs> oh, look, stacks. All right. Ooh, a cheap. Uh, lower. Oh, I think lower. I bought my capture card from home, dude. This is the one that I use at home. This is the normal one. Or is that not a capture card? Too? No, but it's a. Oh, okay. <laughs> dude, this is a capture <laughs> card. Yeah. This is a oh, capture card. Like, the black. This oh. is a capture the card. Black one is good. And so, uh, so for this, what we built was we've got the quals, which is going to be a whole bunch of targets that we'll be hosting at, hosted out in the cloud. And there's a lot of web stuff there. There's a download solve, there's ponables, there's some reversing challenges. There's a, a little bit of blue team stuff just to throw in there, like going through logs. Will you? That, <laughs> we, we never expected it to be that good, right? Like totally tied in with the story. Uh, you know, throwing the gauntlet down, you know, bringing a bunch of people in to try to try to attack it. It's definitely Ben's favorite thing to make people drive twice in the middle of so the night. So who's driving us right now, Ben? Can you, uh, can you explain to the viewers? Barrett's driving us. Oh, and why is that? Because I requested a lift the wrong place again, twice in the same night. Oh. You guys know where to go? Four hours later. Yeah, so and we want to go, for us at Paris to by the way guys, we want to go to Paris, um, he put pick up at Paris like a genius. This guy, by the way, makes a very comfortable living off computers oh, and putting on. things in the right forms. You come to DEF CON next year? I think I'm going to come to DEF CON every year as, uh, as much as I can. I have been coming every year uh, with the exception of last year obviously where everybody had to miss it, where DEF CON actually got cancelled. I've uh, been coming here, I think, for seven or eight years now in a row. I think there's a lot of, uh, like, kind of really blank networking stuff where it's, what do you do? You know, who do you work for? And uh, I really don't enjoy that too much, but I've, I've been able to meet, like, a lot of uh, really genuine people. There's been, like, a couple, just, like, people I think that will go to go to other DEF CONs with or just, like, hang out outside of DEF CON this year. Um, so it's really nice to do. It's overwhelming. <laughs> it is kicking my butt. I, I gotta learn to pace myself and eat enough and uh, hydrate enough. Um, but it's also so cool getting to connect with all these people that I've met over the past year and change. And I'm just so giddy. I'm like fangirling everywhere I go. I come here for DEF CON every year. I don't go to DEF CON. It's boring to me. I don't like watching talks. It's I'm never going to attend a talk, so I'm not going to pay just for a badge. I see everybody outside of it anyway, so it doesn't make sense for me to pay for the badges for Black Hat and Def Con. Yeah, normally there's H1702, which is, you know, the same excuse, but to get with all the bug bounty people. But since it's not this year, it's pretty much like, you know, normally with Def Con, you spend, uh, at least I'll spend like 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. doing, you know, Def Con stuff, going to lunch with people. And then from like 4 p.m. till, you know, like 2 in the morning, we're at H1702 doing whatever. Normally when I'm here, I'm here for a Hacker One event during DEF CON. And not having that this year has kind of thrown me through a loop. I'm hanging with a completely different set of people from one of the other platforms. And it's like, I don't know, I'm not as much of a fan as this DEF CON as I have been in the past ones. It's almost, I guess it's almost like dopamine hit when you, when you like make progress or you can like see the tunnel like inside. I really enjoy that and I really like, it really focuses me, you know, um, especially when you get a challenge or you get a flag, like it just feels really, really good. And then, uh, you know, walking through the conference rooms and, you know, seeing, you know, the cars that were set up there uh, or the little mini drones where, you know, uh, they were simulating hacking up. A airplane or you know it puts it into reality real fast uh, some of the critical roles that people have to play in uh, infosec well, I spend most of my time on web applications it's not a matter of life and death and there are a lot of people's jobs that are out there um, it is a matter of life and death and uh, that was a very eye-opening thing I didn't understand that was the point of DEF CON it's not just to go to talks it's to go to parties meet people uh, learn from other people you know make friends that you're gonna come back and hang out with every year. Uh, the next year I came out here, I was doing a lot of bug bounties and I got involved with a lot of bug hunters, made a few friends and never thought of anything else. Went back home, I thought, you know, I'm never gonna talk to these people ever again, but it turned out I became good friends with some of them. Uh, that kind of scored me my first job, my first internship, 
From there, I came back again the next year. I got to speak at DEF CON for five minutes on Jason Haddix's talk and research he did at DEF CON. And then from there, I've been more and more involved and I've been more and more friends. And it's been a very interesting and life-changing experience because of the connections and the networking that you do at DEF CON. of being here. Nice Day two of DEF CON. DEF CON CTF kicks off today. Villages go live. I keynote red team. No, I don't keynote red team. I keynote recon village today. In 50 minutes. And he's exhausted. He's not allowed to be exhausted. He took a nap. Do we do Duncan glazed Krispy Kreme or pin box, pink box donut? Probably pink box. Imagine the photo on the other side. Just two idiots with cameras. Not even picking it up. <laughs> You just call me an idiot? You call me an idiot, man? No, you called you an idiot. Uh, bye, idiot. Have a great day, you guys. We have the donuts. Who's an idiot now? You got it? <laughs> that was content. Folding in up in here. I'll do better with that CTF. There you go. I'll, I'll be audio content. Dip it and throw So this is the red team, uh, Village CTL. So we are streaming uh, live from a house in Las Vegas and then we also have on-site people here. So there's about 500 plus teams that are playing, so it's a fully immersive uh, environment. Uh, there's tons of players, over almost 2,000 players that are playing. Uh, we have over sixty thousand dollars of prizes. Uh, so pretty much with like with the calls that we had, you know, a lot of things we're kind of releasing the challenges throughout the day, just trying to keep it so it's a little bit of a pace to it, so no one can clear the board right away, uh, as well as kind of kind of force in those bio breaks, so they don't uh, you know go too hard and uh, hack too much. It's it's so great to go outside and see people at bars. I love that. And I guess you guys are having the same experience in DEF CON. So this is my first time actually meeting John. I've uh, talked, I've worked with you about two years now. Has it been two years? Almost yeah, I think so. Years. Yeah. VersaCon, NahamCon, NahamCon, ActivityCon. Another ActivityCon. Now con. all over again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to be ready, Omar, there we go. Not background every single time. <laughs> you know, I, I might enjoy going out and looking for SQL injection. I love SQL injection. It's just a tedious it's, fine tooth call. It is. Uh, I mean, it, it gets is. boring after a while. And there's there's a few pendants I've been on. It's like I've seen this app like eight times. Right. So let's look at the next one. It looks like so this is Oof Oof Jaw. So a lot of people. Sorry, my burp's going crazy on the screen right now. Uh, thank you for having me here, and uh, I'll give it back to you, Omar. Thank you so much, and thank you guys again. And once again, the hams like your your lifesaver. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, in terms of uh, relationships that I've created at DEF CON, absolutely. Uh, you know, you show up with your friends, uh, you meet your friends, your old friends, but you always make new friends. Uh, that, that's kind of like uh, like our uh, our goal is always to make a new friend every con we go to. So even at DEF CON, I remember I was down at a cabana one year and I was there uh, getting a flask of whiskey from a, from a vendor. And, uh, and this guy starts, you know, asking me questions about who I am, you know, where I'm from. It turns out we were from the same place and we had seen each other kind of kind of on the periphery at other conferences. And then we just happened to be in the same spot, DEF CON. And uh, we had a conversation. I, I went back to some old like CTF photos. I saw his face. I texted him a picture of him. I was like, okay, we do know each other. And then ever since then, you know, that was, that's a lifelong friendship. I got involved in the Red Team Village when Barry started putting this CTF thing together when he was talking about doing a bigger thing at DEF CON. Uh, to me, it sounded great. DEF CON is like the ultimate hacker conference. So what makes me excited to come back every year is just meeting new people, uh, being able to bring fresh new content, like the CTF this year, uh, for example. I mean, the scenario that was designed is a perfect scenario of what happens in the real world. All of like the breaches that you kind of hear about, the initial access is phishing, and that's how you get in. There's all different types of way, but phishing, because it's user security awareness. Technical controls don't protect everything, so if you don't have them in place, it's instant access to the network. There's definitely a, a love for DEF CON. Um, it's, it's not just DEF CON, it's the community uh, that DEF CON represents. It's 
all the friends that are here. It's the opportunity to see these friends after basically being isolated for two years. There's definitely a lot of awesome and amazing CTFs. We kind of have, uh, I guess, more generalized and we're definitely focused on, hey, we want brand new people to come out. We want you to learn you know, skills and we kind of have challenges uh, that teach skills along the way. So it's not always like gamified. We want you to actually learn something. And with that, it kind of pushes a lot of people out of, uh, out of their comfort zone. And then we focus on, you know, a lot of those players, like we provide that support. We want them to get those points. Uh, we want them to learn something, move on and see as many challenges as possible. Community means to me just everything. It's like the, where it begins, where it ends. And these people need to be appreciated and they need to be heard. And that's why I love to spread the word and uplift anyone I can. There is literally something for everyone. So it doesn't matter what your interest is, what your background is, what you're passionate about uh, that you want to share with others. DEF CON has a place for you. And so, uh, you know, for us, we've got, we, we, we've got the red teaming that we want to, want to share with everybody. We want to train and educate people. We want to see our friends. But if you're new, there's a lot of opportunity to, to make contacts. Um, if you're looking for work, you know, there's, you know, there, there's definitely some vendors that are, that are sponsoring parties and whatnot. And so, uh, in general, it's just, you know, everybody belongs, everybody fits here. And, uh, and it's that one time a year that, you know, people really look forward to. Mentally and physically not here. Physically here, mentally not here. We're going to... Use the left two Where lanes to turn left. We're going to the Red Team Village Airbnb to pack up all of our gear. Say goodbye to everybody that's left. I think a few people have left already. Um, gotta grab our stuff, say bye, and go home. It's a wrap. Uh, it's a wrap. I think this was probably like the first time that I enjoyed the DEF CON community parts of it. Not that I don't like DEF CON when I come out here, but like I got to actually experience what DEF CON's about. Cause like even meeting the guys at Red Team Village, never known him before just and like partying with him and hanging out with him was cool. You never had time to, I guess. Huh? No, I've always worked. Like, I get here on a Monday, I would come here Monday to Monday and we're working every day and every night. What is it you normally would do? Just work stuff. We, we host happy hours and stuff like that and not everyone's going to come to those. So mm -hmm. having the option to go see everybody was cool. Mm -hmm. So now I don't have that experience. It's just this one was an experience. There's a different experience. Yeah. It's like I got to meet some new people. You know, I got to still hang out with my hacker friends, do some stuff with people that I've never known and also like push myself to go outside of like just deaf fun and work oh, stuff. I just gotta say thanks uh, Ben for all that you've taught me. You really uh, help me understand like the, from the beginning to the end like what I need to do step by step and I really appreciate that you're like one of two streamers that I really follow at this point everyone else is kind of trash so appreciate it <laughs> dude much appreciated yeah. man I've